Uh, Congressman Jason Smith joins us uh, from Missouri, of course, the House Ways and Means Committee chief. Uh, Chairman, so much to talk to you about, including other things you're focusing on that you might have personally more interest in for the time being. But first on Mayorkas and where you see this going, um, you think the votes are there in the House? You know, they're going to be very close. Like you said, there's a couple members of my party that said that they're not going to be voting for impeachment. We'll be voting in roughly an hour and a half, two hours. But I think it's going to be extremely close. As you know, there's only 219 members of the House Republican Conference, and several of them are out because one is battling cancer. Right. Um, so that reduces the numbers where just a couple voting no can make a big difference. All right. All um right. I'm told that even with that, and to allow uh, for Congress and Scalise, if everyone else was a yes, this goes through, but barely. Yeah, um, with with Congressman Scalise not being here, we're at 218. Right. It appears that you could lose three people and still have the have the votes to pass it with 215. All right, whatever happens in the full House uh, tonight, uh, Congressman, uh, it's essentially dead on arrival in the Senate. I, I can't see it progressing beyond there. So what would this mean in the end? What has been learned from this? Well, I think if you travel anywhere in the country, you hear from Americans that they are so concerned of what's happening at the border and they want the border fixed. They've seen 10 million people illegally cross the border since Joe Biden's been in office, since the secretary has been the secretary of Homeland, and they want this problem fixed. All right. Um, I, I, I am curious, though, separately on this border security measure, the $118 billion one that also seems dicey right now. There are virtually no numbers for that among your colleagues. Is that fair to say? What, what is that? There's the no border, numbers. On the regard. border security measure, the one that the 118 day one that seems to be sort of going up in flames in the Senate. You know, the Senate, uh, I think they have they have their um, they have a lot of work to do in order to get it passed over in the United States Senate. I don't believe that's going to come over here. Nine mm -hmm. months ago, the House Republicans passed H.R. 2, border security policy. It's been over in the Senate. We wish that they could just take up and pass that, but they haven't done that yet. All right, because only Republicans voted for it in the House. It seems dead on arrival in the Senate. Their Senate measure seems dead on arrival with them in the Senate, doubly dead on arrival with you. So we're not going to see anything, are we? Well, that's why I'm focused on tax policy, Neil, yes, because indeed. that passed by a huge that bipartisan That has more favorability. Support. Where does that stand? You're talking about the $78 billion plan. Democrats, Republicans like it, something beneficial to both sides. Where is that? So, Neil, 84 percent of the House of Representatives last Wednesday voted on this bipartisan tax package that myself and my counterpart over on the Senate side tried to negotiate. This provides it provides real pro growth, pro worker, pro American um, tax policies that will help families and small businesses. It sharpens our competitive edge with China and it boosts innovation. For a bill to pass with 84 percent in the House of Representatives and how devi divisive government is right now is a huge win. We haven't seen that in decades in a tax package. So what happens next with that? It's over in the United States Senate. I'm continuing to meet with senators of both parties right now to try to move it forward. Of course, they have been focused right now on this immigration bill that looks like they're going to have more time on their hands, and I hope they bring up the tax package. Well, this could be a big win for both sides if that if it passes at this time, but nothing else seems to be getting through. We'll follow it very closely. Chairman, thank you. Thank you, sir.